Well, this happens every now and then for yeah. iPhone users. Apple makes some changes to features, and it seems that everyone hates the changes. And oh. that happened in the last update to the iPhone. Yes. So, well, millions, they complained, as <laughs> always, about several changes that impact how their phone looks anytime they pick it up. That's why I have my Android. <laughs> I know, but consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker takes a closer look at some settings you may want to change tonight. From the get-go, liquid glass was one of those features people either loved or hated. It made all of the icons in the phone screen look kind of translucent. Pretty cool to see, but it made everything hard to see. In the latest update, iOS 26.1, you can tone it down, sort of. Go to Settings and Display and Brightness, and there's a new toggle switch to switch liquid glass from clear to tinted, so it'll look a lot more like the old home screen. If you've ever accidentally opened the camera app when you didn't mean to, you're not alone. On iPhone 16 and 17 models, just picking up the phone can trigger the camera app. That's because of the new camera control button on the side. Well, you can turn this off by going to accessibility, then camera control. The camera app also launched if you accidentally swipe to the lock screen. You can turn that off as well by going to camera settings and down at the bottom toggle off lock screen swipe to open camera. Apple Music users get something new too. You can now swipe to the mini player and then swipe forward to skip to the next song or swipe left to go back. iOS 26.1 is out now, but fair warning, if you never updated to iOS 26 a few months ago, it is a huge file, about 15 gigabytes some are reporting. So make sure you're at home on your Wi-Fi network and make sure you have enough time to let it finish. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.